Hi, crafty friends. It's Heidi Scott coming live to you from Key West. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to make these darling little tea towels that are country themed and that have a skirt. So cute and super easy. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using this stencil that says Rise and Shine. We'll be using this um, barbed wire fence stencil like here. I did this one before I came live today. And we'll be using this fabric instead of this check. But this one I made using the Don't Go Bake In My Heart stencil, which is super duper cute. Okay, let me see if I can find myself here. Um, as you hop on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to sprinkle. Let's see. And um, we are still on our vacation and we are getting ready. Okay, I think I got it. We're getting ready to do a nighttime kayak trip through the mangroves where you can see that it's lit up and you can see all the sea life and stuff below. So I'm gonna be quick. Anyways, um, so what do you think? Is this not the cutest thing ever? I really think it is. I love the barbed wire, isn't that darling? That's just the silver ink with that stencil. Okay, so I thought I brought two tea towels with me on this vacation to craft with, but I only brought one. So we're just gonna do the other side. Use what you have whenever possible, right? All right, so we'll be working on this side. And let me just get, figure out which is the back side of it. And you can tell this is the back side of it because it's got this little loop. And also, if you look at the hem, you can tell that's the back side. Okay, so we're using some of this fabric that I purchased from Walmart. Um, it was in, it was already pre-cut, and I think it was a yard or two yards or something. Super inexpensive. Um, I don't remember what the brand is, but it, it's in the Walmart uh, fabric section. All right, so before I came live, I already tore this strip and we need one more. So I measured, let's see if I can find it. I measured where to tear um, for the next strip. Let's see, where is it? Okay, where is that? Ah, it's right here. Okay, so I just measured the width and um, I'm just gonna tear this fabric, it will tear straight and then it'll fringe a little bit. And if you want, when you're all finished with this project, oh, and we're using this Sure Bonder fabric glue. So this project will be permanent and you can wash it and everything. Um, if you want, you can put some of that fray check stuff right at the edge of the fabric that we're gonna, the little skirt that we're gonna put on it. Um, but I don't think that you necessarily have to. So you just take a little snip and then you pull it. Okay, and we need to combine these two pieces together. Can you guys see okay? I think so. Okay, um, and I need to cut this piece off here. This piece. Okay, and this one has a pattern. I don't know which is up or down. Let's see if I can kind of compare. Yeah, I think this is how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna match two right sides together and just glue them. And I have my little Sherbonder hot glue gun all ready to go. I'm just gonna put that a strip of it right here. Take my fabric, flip it over, connect these two pieces. Okay, so now I have a whole long thing. And I figured out an easy, we'll pull all the strings when we're all done and we'll stencil last because um, you can't stencil first and then do this without smudging up your stencil like crazy. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is find your center. And I just did that, I'm gonna set my scissors right here. And then I'm gonna find my center on my strip. It's the spot where we glued the two pieces together. 
which way do I want this to go? I think I want it to go this way. And this is where we're gonna do our first little uh, patch of glue. And I'm just putting it on the hem and I'm just pushing the fabric into it. This part goes really quick. Um, I do think the easiest way to do it would be to do a basting stitch, if you know how to sew, and then um, pull it to gather everything up. But since I don't have any of that stuff with me on this trip, I won't be doing that. Okay, then I'm taking the other end and I'm gonna put it clear on this side. So when we were out and about today, one of the things that we did is we popped in this antique shop and guess what I bought? <laughs> Buttons. I have no idea if there's anything good in here. They're very dirty, so I'm not gonna open them up until I get home and can wash them. But um, the guy was trying to ask me $1 for every button, and I said, um, how about $10 for the whole thing? And he said, done. And then I was thinking, shoot, I should have asked for less. But anyways, um, so that's my crafting souvenir from this trip to Key West. And... Okay, so then I just pulled the middle and I glued it the middle in between these two. All right, now I'm gonna pull this up right here and find the middle, roughly, and I'm gonna glue it down here at the middle in between these two spots. This part does not have to be perfect because I'm gonna show you how to do a little uh, ruffle, but let's go all the way across. Okay, so the middle of this strip and the middle of that right there There. All right, and then let's take the end of this and go all the way down to this side. And um, so in the past when I've worked with fabric hot glue, it's been smoking hot. This Sherbond low temperature uh, fabric sticks is so nice to work with. Oops. The only thing is it gives you some major, major glue strings. So I found the center of this and I'm gonna just roughly say that that's about the center. And we're almost there where I show you how you do the fold. Or like I said, if you're just joining us, you could use a basting stitch and then cinch everything up. That would be the easiest, neatest way to do that. But you know what? Just do what you can do, use what you have. That's my motto in life. Okay, so I've got all of this connected, but now we need to cinch it up. So let's start over here. And essentially, I'm just going to run a strip of glue from one side to the next, and then I'll fold the two pieces in so they meet like this. And then we'll have this little thing sticking up. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's do that. pushing it into it as I go along. Okay, so now we have just this piece and I'm just gonna open it up equally and we're gonna glue it down over the top of what we already have here. This seems complicated, but it's really not at all. My husband's over here working on stuff. Listening to me, I feel a little weird talking to my phone with my husband here, but okay, so let's do it again. So I'm just pulling the center and we're gonna look and see about where that is. I'll just glue this down and glue this side down. And I'll clean up all the mess off camera because there's gonna be glue strings galore. Oh, thank you for sprinkling, I appreciate it. And I did um, pin a link. I put a little pig and a little chicken for these stencils. Um, they're really cute. This, this bacon, don't go bacon my heart. I love that one. Okay, I need a little more glue right here. All right, so I have that glued down. Now I just need to open this up 
and glue it down over the top of what I've got going. Push it into it. So are you guys having a good Saturday? I hope you are. We, like I said, we, well, we've had kind of a busy day. We went to this awesome breakfast place in Key West. What was the name of it, honey? Mary Beth's. Mary Beth's. And then we came back and did a few things. And then we went and took a, um, tac a, sh a water taxi to the little town of Key West. We didn't get off, we just went for the ride. And then we rode it back. Then we had lunch out on the pool deck at a little restaurant. Now I'm trying to do a craft. Then we'll be going to do a nighttime kayak thing. Um, so it's been a busy day, a good day. Okay, can you see how fast this comes along? It really, really does. I wonder if I didn't do this equally because hmm, it's a possibility. Finish this side real quick and then we'll go on to the next step. Can you guys see okay? I really do think that running a basting stitch and then cinching it all up would be definitely the easiest way to do this. Okay, we're gonna spread this open. Glue it down. It looks so cute from the front. Okay, I'm getting there. The weather here in Key West today was glorious. It was, it is in the mid-70s, it's like 75, 76, 77, something like that, which is perfect. And there's a little breeze. And oh my gosh, if you were gonna come to Key West, I totally recommend that you do it this time of year and not, um, not in the summer because the humidity is crazy here. And um, this is just such perfect temperature right now. It's just completely comfortable. Okay, let's just do this one down and then we have one more. And When I did the um, other side with the black and white, I uh, measured a little more carefully, but I think this is still gonna be super cute. We're gonna do the, um, the chicken, we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna do the chicken in black and then these two sets of words in red to make it go with this, um, this stencil. word connected by a million glue strings okay so I hope it's cute and it is it's totally darling we just put this little skirt on easy peasy isn't that darling if you want to look at any of the stencils um, I did pin a link right down there at the bottom of the page 
Okay, so now we're gonna start stenciling and I'm gonna put it, I, um, I don't think I could hurt this hotel room glass dining room table, but I'm gonna put down some paper towels and spread this out here. Let's find the center. So that is roughly the center right there. Scissors there. Oh, this is super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, the barbed wire first. And we're using silver ink which is from Magnolia. And um, I am not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, I've just pressed it down. This is the ink. This will be permanent, so this could be washed. And, and so is this um, Sherbonder glue, that's fabric glue from Hobby Lobby. And um, all you need to do is, after it's fully dry, you're gonna um, take uh, your iron and you're gonna just heat set it by going over the areas for three or four minutes. You wanna put something in between your iron and your project, like either some parchment paper or a thin tea towel, like what we just did. And, um, yeah, go over it for three or four minutes. That makes it sort of mesh into the fabric and be permanent, and it's super easy. And I love working with this ink. Okay. All right, can you see how quick that was? And I am gonna resist the temptation to keep going over and over and over it because that's when I make mistakes. Um, what are you guys saying? Wow, there's 411 people on right now. Hey, look, my, my cold sore's getting a little better. I don't look quite like the horror show I did. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, especially with this little red skirt. Okay, let me go throw this in the sink, upside down. Oh, this is so cute. The other side is super cute too, but this is super duper duper cute. Okay, so I'm gonna scooch this down a little bit. And isn't it cute? I'll hold it up when we're all done. So we'll just put this on. I need to slide my paper towel up a little bit. And I always mark the back of my stencils. This is the first time I'm using this. Ordinarily, I would fuzz it, but there's no sense in fuzzing this on a piece of fabric and then using it on a piece of fabric. So I, that's just unnecessary. Okay. And just pressing it down really good. Okay, can you guys see? Okay, good. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab some red. This is called True Red. I think there's a couple new colors of red ink coming in the very near future. And it looks, it doesn't look like True Red here, but when it's all on the project and dry, it does. And I cut this squeegee a little bit smaller so that um, it would give me a little bit more control. We're gonna do the words in red and the actual rooster in black. Okay, let's do the top part. The squeegee feels so weird being so short. Okay. 
So I posted something asking how many people craft while they're on vacation. And I was so surprised to hear back from you guys because a huge amount of you said, yes, you do. And several of you said that you like to craft when you're camping. And one lady said that she bought a, a small sewing machine so that she could sew while they were camping. Okay, here's the black ink. So I thought it was just me that liked to craft all the time, even on vacation. But nope, I think it's a, it's a crafter's kind of deal. Okay, you can see how quick this is. It just goes right on. It's nice and thick. Um, you're not gonna water this down ever. Like sometimes you will use a little distilled water on your chalk paste if they get thick, but you don't want to do that with your inks. They're not going to dry up like chalk paste sometimes will. Okay, so I've covered the whole thing and I'm going to pull it off carefully. And, oh, it's super cute. Okay, let me go throw this in the sink. Tell me what you think. Let's don't mess anything up, please. Isn't that cute? Rise and shine and with the little red skirt. And then this was the other side, don't go bake in my heart. Anyways, that um, concludes our crafting for today. <laughs> If you want to look at any of these stencils or ink or anything else from Magnolia, I put a link down at the bottom. Um, if you have any questions, let me know because I'll be looking at the comments. And uh, I am going to be giving this tea towel away. I'll figure that out when I get back home to Atlanta, how I'm going to do that. So be watching for that. And um, anyways, thank you for all of your sweet comments and your patience. And um, I will see you most likely tomorrow. All right, see you later.